Okay. The residuals. Okay, and then you can say you can copy this one. This? Mm -hmm. Everything? No, uh, B column. This one? Add a couple of columns so you can set B1 and B2. You select F, click on F, and, and like all the way to Y, J, for example. Huh? What am I gonna do? Drag, drag all the way from F to J. Yeah. And then right click and say insert. Okay, that makes sure that all the formulas are updated. Oh. Okay, so now, so now this is the predicted. Y, right? Okay. And then you have to convert it to a, a number. So look at the formula that you have here. Okay, so copy that. Copy this. Mm -hmm. And then just now you have to convert it to a 0 or a 1, right? So, so paste it there. And then edit it so that it looks at this thing. So basically, you can say, say the standard way to do it is look at this predicted. Like right now, the predicted y is a number, right? Because regression gives you a number; it doesn't give you a one or zero. Mm -hmm. So you can say if this is bigger than zero point five, for example, then give give me a one, and otherwise give me a zero. Instead of this, mm -hmm. if this mm -hmm. is bigger than something mm -hmm. what? try one. something one no it's not nothing is bigger than one mm -hmm. what happened you screwed up the phone now. why can it be like that because you screwed up If this, oh, it's supposed to be E2. Mm -hmm. Is it working? bigger than 0 0.4 you would have got everything correct to try. Did I fuck it up? No. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, but let's try to do the perception. This doesn't work in general because if you have a really big number somewhere, it's not gonna work. In the y. I in the x. Know. In the x. Right now our x is really nice, right? Because we generated with a random, with a mean and something. Mm -hmm. Right. So if x actually has some like bigger numbers in there, it's gonna screw up. Okay. Like if you put an x10 in here. Yeah. Linear thing is still gonna work. Okay. Why is linear regression like? You know, your predicted stuff is all gonna screw up. Your coefficients are gonna fuck up. Okay. You wanna try to do that? Uh, okay. Put a 20 somewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Run your regression.
what is this? This is the error. This is one minus or zero minus, depending on whether your original was one or zero. You know, this is one minus the prediction. Oh. That's your residual because you correct was one, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, so. the same formula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just copy that formula, that will work. Just copy it. Don't copy the formula, copy the cell, then it's gonna automatically okay. relink the it only classified this one correctly that you put twenty. Okay. That's it. Nothing else. Okay, because this is so big, right? Because this is a big number, but thinks everything else. Okay, because it's it's doing the square error, so this error is really big on the twenty. So it tries to minimize it. So if you if you if you look at this guy here, if you look at the the beta here, the beta is zero point five, whereas here it's like zero point two. Okay. Okay, this is without the 20. This is without the 20, this is with the 20. Yeah, this is the 20. So, so five. Yeah, so it makes it really small because it doesn't want to have the 20 have a really big number. So if you do x1 times 20, right, you're going to mm -hmm. get a 1 or something. So you're minimizing that error. Okay. Because the least square mm -hmm. formula is like trying to do the least square mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. the thing there. This one and the value, right? Yeah. So you got a bunch of small residuals and then you got this big residual here. Yeah. Okay. So so how do you do this with a perception? Let's let's first do the online classification. So online classification is every data point you get. Okay. You update. Yeah. Okay, so now I purposely only use D1 in the algorithm because it's easier in the classification algorithm. Okay. I just used L, I didn't use K before we used the K also. Okay. Right, I only used L right now because oh. getting the K in there is a little complicated. We're going to do the K later. Okay. Is it ever in there? Or it is, yeah, that's called the bias. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, so first thing is you you guess an answer. So one column is you guess an answer. So this is gonna be your B one guess. This column I want. B one guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you always start with guessing zero. Okay. Now the next thing is you're gonna be your um, your predicted y. You use exactly the same formula as the classification formula. Select this. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? So then the A2, everything that doesn't have a dollar is not going to change. If you just copy it, then everything that doesn't have dollars is going to move over to the right. So A A2 will become a D2 or something like that if you copy it over there. Oh. Okay, so I press escape. To escape. Get, yeah, to get out of that. Right now you're editing still the formula in D. You understand? No, I don't understand. Okay, okay, so select it again. Inside the cell. Where well, I am selecting it. No, here. The formula. And say copy. Now if you don't press escape and you click here, mm -hmm. it's going to edit this formula to just link to this cell. Okay, so escape. Yeah, that gets out of that editing that. Yeah. And paste. And now instead of using the DL tool, you use whatever you guessed. Instead of using L? Inside I the formula? Yeah. Inside the formula. Oh, okay, okay. 